What is up guys? So what we have here is the Rode Wireless Go 2. So in this video, I'm gonna show you what you would expect when you purchase this product right here. We're gonna test out the sound quality and also some of the basic features that it has. All right, so let's go ahead and unbox this. This is very difficult to remove. This is very hard. This is tough. Mm. Rode really did a good job on sealing this. This is tough. Okay. <laughs> now I gotta say, I've got my eye on this product for a while now, so I am really excited to unbox this, to be honest with you. So when you open the packaging, this is what it looks like. It's basically separated by two layers. Let's start with this one on top. Let's go and open this. So you have uh, three Type-C cords. You have a aux cord right here. And you also have a manual. And next, here we have a pouch for the Rode Wireless Go. And then we have the actual devices. Okay, so we have three uh, wind muffs. So this right here in the middle is the receiver. And we have the first transmitter and the second transmitter. So that's it. Basically, it's everything that's in the box. So what came out is yeah, package for product freshness contains harmless absorbent throwaway. Never gets old when you, you know, peel like premium plastic. So on top of the transmitter, we have a mic input. So if you want to connect a lavalier mic, and right here we have two indicators. It has a wireless go to written on the side. On the bottom of the transmitter, we have the on and off switch. Then on the right side, it has a type C cord, just where you will charge it. And this is how you would connect it to your uh, PC or laptop. It also has a kind of spikes over here so that if you would clip it to your shirt, it will have more uh, grip. On top of the receiver, we have a power switch. And then of course the wireless go to on the right side. And on the left side, we have a type C for charging. And then this is where you would connect your aux cord. On the bottom over here, we have the DB button. And this button right here will let you select between channel one and two. It also has those uh, spike things, so it will give a much better grip. So right now I'm gonna connect the transmitter to the camera and let's go ahead and test out the audio. So this is the Rode Wireless Go 2 attached to my hoodie. Mic test, mic test. So what you're hearing right now is just the mic straight out of the box. I did not tweak any settings. So I don't know what this sounds like. Um, I hope it's good. By the way, this is not a sound treated room, meaning that the room is very echoey. And also I have an air conditioner just right beside me that I can hear. So I don't know if the mic is picking up any of it. So this is what it sounds like when I'm not speaking. Can you hear the air conditioner? The air conditioner is pretty loud on my left side. So let's go over some of its specs and features. So on the website, the battery life of the Rode Wireless Go 2 is up to seven hours, which is honestly pretty impressive. It also has three to 10 gain control. You can also connect any lavalier mic. And what I really like about this is it has onboard recording meaning if your camera fails or your phone fails, this thing has internal storage. And it also says from the website that you can go as far as 200 meters from the receiver. You can basically connect it to any type of device. See on the manual over here, you can connect it to an iPhone, an Android, a laptop, a DSLR. So to turn this thing on, you just have to hold this button down, just press and hold. and then the blue light will turn on and you don't have to do anything. You just attach it and it's automatic recording. And to turn it off, you simply hold down the button again until the light goes out. So when you attach the wind muffs to the transmitter, it's basically impossible to be removed because of its twist mechanism. So I'm gonna whisper and let's see if the Rode Wireless Go 2 can detect the sound. So this is me. My boom, I can even hear me. 
So what type of videos or what kind of scenario would be perfect to use the Rode Wireless GO 2? The first is probably interviews because it has two transmitters and one receiver. The second I have to say this is really perfect for talking head videos like if you're telling a story or something like that. Third is unboxing videos just like this one. Another perfect scenario to use this is probably tutorials. You know like YouTube tutorials, uh, how to use Google Sheets and stuff like that. This is also perfect for like home tours or house tours. You can also use this for Zoom meetings because you can connect this to your laptop. It's also good for voiceovers because you can connect this to your PC or laptop or whatever you use to edit your videos. So if you're planning to use this for vlogging, I really wouldn't recommend it because when you're vlogging, you're gonna want to hear the background noise and also the voice of the other people around you. So if you're using a lavalier mic, it will only hear your your voice. So let's go ahead and test this outside. So right now we're gonna test out the wind muffs. It is very windy right now so I don't even know if you can hear me properly. So this is the Rode Wireless GO 2 with the wind muffs. Mic test, mic test. And this is the Rode Wireless GO 2 without the wind muffs. Mic test, mic test. So right now we're gonna test out how far can I actually go before the connection gets lost between the transmitter and the receiver. So I'm gonna walk away and slowly we're gonna test out the range <laughs> I'm pretty far from the camera so we are still connected connection is pretty strong mic test so we're pretty far away mic test mic test bro this is so far you can barely see me on the camera just getting rid this is getting ridiculous at this point bro it's still connected what the fuck it's still connected let's see it goes out so like, still connected at this point this this is pretty far I mean you can see me on the camera anymore and it's still connected so it's safe to say it has basically unlimited range at this point so you're never gonna leave your camera so far away okay Whew. all right guys so we are finally back in the studio if you found this video useful you can return the favor by clicking that like button down below if you're not yet subscribed, go ahead and click that subscribe. If you want to know how to update your Rode Wireless Go 2, you can go ahead and click this video right here. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.